feel fierce. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Tonight's going out game plan is really a mini go now game plan. We're only doing three segments tonight. Um, our last go now game plan was incredible. Obviously, we had Lauren Reidinger on with us, and there are just no words, right? Everything she says is just kind of like she just takes you to school. So I feel like even though I had the honor of hosting her and asking questions, I just I personally learned a lot. So. I just want to encourage everybody, if you've missed any of the Go Now game plans in the past, they are available here on the Facebook channel, on Market America's channel, but they're also uploaded um, to Shopping Annuity's YouTube channel. So um, that's a really great place to go back. I mean, the segments generally have um, ongoing segments that, you know, we focus on one call to action within each, and there's always a segment on business building. There's always a segment on retailing and also on one specific product or um, one social media tip and that's generally the format that this show follows um, with the holidays being right now and really just like the biggest opportunity for us as unfranchise owners to create sales and volume and prospects and meet people the the segments have been a little bit different and followed its own format but that's just because that's what we need right now so I just want to let everybody know that previous um, segments are on youtube.com forward slash shopping annuity Go check those out. There's so much good, relevant, year-round information. Um, tonight's segment is going to be holiday-focused, but I can let you know that January's um, show will be very, very focused on strategic planning, on business building, and really preparing for the most successful 2020 that you can possibly have. So um, definitely don't want to miss any of the shows. They are not the same each month. They're all different, and it's all very much... Um, uh, an awareness of what's happening and what's important at the time. And as we all know, the holidays are the most important time right now. So one thing I do want to let everybody know is, you know, um, some people, oh, a lot of people tend to go into vacation or holiday mode during this quarter, right? They're just kind of shut down and they're just chilling and like relaxing and well, I'm like doing the Fresh Prince of Bel Air intro right now, relaxing all cool and all shooting some b ball outside of school. Um, but that's what happens, right? Everybody totally chills out and they relax. And that's cool. Like, definitely spend time with the family. Definitely take a moment to just enjoy and, you know, um, and just be in the holiday spirit. But keep in mind that the business owners of the world, the entrepreneurs of the world, quarter four is their most successful quarter of the year. It's the year that they up their production, it's the year that they make the most sales, they make the most connections, that they set up for a successful new year. And so I just want to start by saying that you guys really need to ask yourself, like, what kind of person do you want to be in this last quarter? Can you find a nice balance, making sure that you're enjoying the holiday spirit, but also, um, you know, are you a business owner, right? Are you the kind of person that's going to, you know, have a really successful fourth quarter to end this year strongly and to set up your new year for success. I just encourage you not to wait. I encourage you not to wait until January 1st. It's going to feel like you're too late on that day. If you do stuff now to create new customers, to create conversation, to do all of that stuff now, it's it's going to set you up for success. So, And you're going to feel so much better on the first of the year as you start to um, you know, go for your goals. So tonight's segment, we're going to talk about social media tips for unfranchised owners. There's three that I want to share with you tonight that will be helpful for you in your in your um, endeavors when it comes to holiday shopping. We're going to go through Consumer Corner. I'm going to give you guys a heads up on some of the products that are actually being offered on sale right now so that you can um, give them as gifts and also offer them to your customers because they make excellent gifts for people on the shopping list. Um, the last thing that we're going to do, oh, excuse me, not the last thing, the second to last thing uh, that we're going to do is I want to, this did not print properly, which is fine. Oh, here it is. I want to give you guys some tips about finding the best deals. So I'm not going to tell you what the best deals are, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you where to find them because at every day they're changing. So for me to tell you what's on sale right now is a moot point. What I want to do is I want to teach you to fish. I want to show you where to go to find everything that you need so you're getting the, the best price, you're getting the best shipping deal. Um, and you're also getting the best IBV or cash back for your customers. And we're going to put a cherry on top of tonight's segment at the very end. Um, we're going to go through the segments kind of quickly today. There's only three. By announcing the winner of the 
$500, $1,000, and $1,500 gift cards. We already have them chosen. The team met today. It was a lot of fun going through everybody's submissions for the My List contest. And uh, we will announce that at the end of tonight's session. So don't go anywhere. Um, you want to know what this campaign is because we're going to continue to do these things. So if you didn't enter this one, you want to know what's going on because I'm also going to announce a new thing that we're launching this Friday. And we're going to keep it going through the rest of the month. So lots of opportunities to win even if you are not eligible tonight. So the first segment is, call is called Socially Speaking. And I want to give you guys three quick tips for social media during the holidays. The number one most important tip for anybody in any industry, no matter what you're doing, is you need to be an authentic resource. So what that very simply means is that if you go online and you just post a bunch of deals just because they're there, um, the likelihood of people that are going to click on that and actually engage on that and comment and interact with you is so slim. Nobody cares. Like think about every time you've seen something that feels spammy or, or like just unauthentic. You don't engage with that kind of stuff, right? But what you do engage with is, is, uh, is organicness, right? So if somebody says, oh my gosh, I got this really great deal um, and I went to Minted instead of Shutterfly and I normally would have gotten this much percent back but I got this much because they're offering a deal. The, the cards look incredible. I can't wait to send out my holiday cards. You're sharing a real deal, right? And you're sharing a story behind that deal. So when you share a story or you share something that you found that you personally took advantage of, that just makes a, an enormous difference. I actually want to show you guys something. I'll be right back um, because on, um, on Friday, I actually did like the majority of our holiday shopping and I have this little folder and I printed out all of my receipts so I could check them in. A lot of places are shipping things in different uh, stuff. So I got Foot Locker here. Um, I got Neiman Marcus, which by the way, Neiman Marcus had these NMDs that I wanted to get for like my niece and um, nobody had them. Like Foot Locker didn't have them, Adidas didn't have them, Neiman Marcus had them and I got IBB back for them. But anyway, so I have, I have all these stores on here, you know, Sh Shutterfly, Minted, Walmart, all these incredible deals. I got a, oh my God, I love this store, the little homie.com, so much fun. So anyway, I printed everything out and then what I'm doing is I'm sharing deals with people that make sense for them. So for example, I found a really great book online that I bought for my niece and I, I bought it for her, but I also texted my sister and I said, I found this amazing book. I know Bella's going to love it, but I know you have a lot of young kids that you're shopping for too. So I sent her a link because I wanted her to see that specific book and sure enough, she was like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Thank you so much. And she's going to end up getting that book for some of the kids that she's shopping for that are on her list. So the point is, is like, it's just about being authentic. I didn't just go to my website, find a random deal and text my sister the idea. I bought a, 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 a gift and I knew that it would be helpful for my sister. I know she has a lot of kids on her list and I sent her a link, a link to something that would help her. So really that's very, very important is you just want to stay organized. You want to, first of all, take advantage of things that um, you have available to you because the more that you take advantage of deals, the more that you will have to say, the more that you will have to share, and the more resourceful you can be for the people in your life. So the second thing I want to talk about is sharing videos. So videos are 59% more likely to get engagement than a photo. And this was kind of a statistic that was very mind-boggling to me. I honestly, like, I don't post enough videos, and that's something that I want to improve on and that I want to do. But I was doing a lot of research on like the types of posts that get the most engagement because obviously we're in, um, in, in an industry where that's something that we want to do. So I was really, really surprised to see, and actually I'm not surprised, like Lauren and I have talked about this in the past and she's been saying it for well over a year, but she's so ahead of the curve when it comes to these things. But videos get 59% more engagement. So it doesn't have to be a professional video. You can literally grab your phone and just turn the camera this way and talk about a deal that you made. Post a 30 second video, post a 60 second video to your Facebook or to a group or um, your stories or whatever. Um, they're more likely to get, um, to get engagement and also they're just more friendly, right? It's less perfect. It's kind of, again, and that's really what we want to be on social media is just be yourself, be less perfect. 
And then lastly, I want to talk about spreading holiday joy. So when you are in business mode, sometimes we run the risk of being too businessy, right? And this kind of goes back to being yourself and being an authentic resource and having that balance of, you know, holiday spirit and business. Um, but you really want to spread holiday joy when it comes to the holidays, because if it doesn't spark that kind of feeling and that, that warmness of anything, then it's going to have less of an effect. You're going to have less of a response. And, um, and also, it's going to feel less comfortable for you, right? So what I want to do is, when you're thinking about the stuff that you're posting, um, whether it's a product post or a deal that you found or a recipe or a TLS tip or a motives look or whatever, then I want you to think about, like, is this, is this too businessy or is it tied back to the holidays in a way that feels warm and good and yummy and all that good stuff? So, for example, um, and not everything has to be directly related to a sale or to a product. So, for example, if you're on the TLS blog, which, by the way, the TLS blog is incredible. Um, Taylor writes for that blog, and she also contributes to the Unfranchised blog, but she shares some really great recipes on there. And in our last show, um, we actually uh, tried the, the cookie dough recipe that uses the vanilla TLS shake, and it was, they were incredible. It literally felt like you were eating raw cookie dough. It was so good. Um, and gluten-free, which is important. I have celiac. So um, so anyway, if you shared that recipe, um, you can share the recipe. The TLS shake is simply an ingredient in the recipe. And, um, and people will say, well, where do I get that, right? And, well, they can get it from you. Does that make sense? So you want to think about how you're doing things and how you're tying it back to the holidays so it feels good and all of that great stuff. Um, Ashley Purnell, she writes for our blog a lot, and I know um, she's also written some really fun blog posts about like crafts, and she always ties it back to the best partner stores to get the materials for the crafts when it comes to decor or seasonal um, decorations or things like that. Um, right now, I'm wearing Sorry Not Sorry, the liquid matte, but I also have the the um, lip gloss big or yeah big apple it's like the red lip gloss big apple on top of it and I know that um, when I wore this out of the studio my friends were like what are you wearing I'm like I'm wearing this right it's a holiday color I didn't say I didn't walk around with a sign that said buy this lip gloss but when people ask you what's that you naturally are in a position to have a conversation about that so that's really kind of the point is you wanna when you're posting about holiday type of things or you're spreading holiday joy, whether it's a TLS recipe or a motives look or a deal that you found or a gift guide that you found on a franchise.com or a gift idea, do it in a way where people say to you, what's that? If you do it that way, it becomes conversational and it becomes a bigger opportunity for you than if you would just simply say, um, buy this or buy this shake and make this recipe or buy this lipstick it's the perfect red okay well show it show me it how it looks on you or you know share a story about how you've used that product so all together be an authentic resource have fun with it be a source of joy share videos try sharing some videos this this um, week and just see how that works out for you so our next segment is called the shopping and new hacks and we're going to talk about again like where to find the best deals and the best resources to leverage so <laughs> excuse me, especially during the holiday season, the deals change every single day. So you just really want to know where to go to find them. Um, the first thing I want to tell you about is for the next couple of days, there's something called the 12 days of deals that's going on. And that's exactly what it sounds like. It's 12 days of brand new deals that are happening. So if you go to shop.com or if you log into your back office on unfranchise.com, um, you will see a new deal every single day that's a really great over the top awesome um, a deal. So today's deal is Rostelli's is doing a holiday spiced ham. It's actually $10 off and you get 19.8 IBV for that. Um, so it's a great IBV compensation. And what you guys should know is Rostelli's is a really high quality meat. This isn't just like a random, you know, uh, no frills type of, of product. This is the best meat. In fact, they are one of the few providers to um, Michelin star restaurants. So just put that in perspective when you look at what you're getting and the fact that you can get access to something like that at a better price and get really great IBV. So tomorrow when you log into unfranchise.com or you visit shop.com, you're going to see a different deal of the day. But the point is, is it's 12 days of deals, so make sure that you're checking it out every single day. The next thing I want to tell you is that on shop.com itself, 
rather than, I really love the approach that shop.com took this year. So rather than create a bunch of different um, landing pages for things, what they've done is they've just made the homepage of shop.com like a deal central. So when you get there, there are things like holiday gift guides, you have the toy, you have the different, um, it's almost like a portal into different landing pages, like the toys landing pages, the hot deal, deals landing pages, it's all right on the home page. So you no longer have to figure out like where did they put all these deals? You have to click around to find it. It's all on the home page. It's so easy to find and they're updating it constantly. So I highly recommend that you check it out every day. Start your day off with that and check it out because there's lots of great things. The next thing, the next big resource, and this is a huge resource for you guys, is the unfranchise.com homepage. When you log into your back office, Keep in mind that the unfranchised marketing team is actually pulling the best deals, the most timely information, the most relevant products or business advice or event information, and they are putting it right on the homepage so that when you log on, it's right front and center and you don't have to go looking for it. So that gets updated um, consistently as well. So what I always tell people is, what is your habit for checking your back office? Um, it's a really good idea to simply log on in the morning and just see, has anything changed? How's my volume doing? Um, what is being promoted on the homepage today? Are there any new promotions going on? Any good business audios that I should be listening to or videos I should watch or blogs that I should read, right? So it's all right on the homepage and I highly recommend that you make it a habit to check on that, click through it, make sure you're engaging with it because it's right there in front of you. Now the next thing, um, and this is a daily habit for me, is blog.unfranchise.com. That blog is, again, the purpose of that blog is to pull the best of the best and write articles about it and put it at the front. So there's some really great articles on there. For example, you have five tips for social media in the holidays. It's a nice written um, explanation of what I just talked you through, um, which is shareable, easy to share, right? You got your top store, partner stores, for everyone on your list. And it gives you like the best partner stores with the highest IBV for different types of people on you know common shopping lists. They're also doing a new thing every Monday where they're featuring a new holiday gift guide. And we're gonna talk more about that in a moment. But it's really nice because it teaches you what it is, it shows you what's in it, and it tells you how to use it. Um, and then finally, the last thing that I wanna tell everybody is that when it comes to your shopping, highly recommend you simply create a list of what you wanna buy and then use shop.com and Google to get what you need. So when I uh, woke up on Friday, I didn't wake up and say, hey, what am I gonna get and what deals are there? Because then you end up buying a bunch of stuff you don't want or need, right? Like we all know that we've done that. So I actually have notes on my phone and I have my ideas and then I have what I've already purchased. Well, you can't really see that, but that's okay because I don't want my kids to see what I bought them anyway. Um, but anyway, so I have my ideas, I have things that I bought, and then as I buy things, I print off the, the receipts, and I simply keep them here, and then as shipments come in, I check them off, and I've got plenty of boxes here um, to prove it. So um, so anyway, uh, I just want everybody to make it just as great. Sometimes a really fast way to find the best partner store is to simply Google the product you're looking for. If you have shop money down, but it's to have IB or cash back you get, you went to the partner store. Just remember to click on activate IBV so that you actually get credit. Okay, and so the final segment before we announce our winners tonight is our consumer corner. And so what I want to do is I want to just bring your attention to the emails that the company sends out. So the company puts a great deal of effort into is sending email campaigns about products to us so that we can learn about products and be reminded about products and um, by the way our customers get um, these emails as well so we, first and foremost you just want to make sure that you're actually opting to receive these because I can tell you that even though um, I've been on franchise owner for 15 years I literally just a couple of weeks ago received an email from Mark in America talking about all of the different fixed products and I had no idea that we had an anti-humidity cream. So it literally just kind of went through all of the, and a, and a volume boosting spray. So I had been buying other brands for two times for years and years and years because I just didn't know that we had them. Um, because you don't know what you don't know, right? And so I got the email and I'm like, wow, I didn't realize we had that. So I ended up buying the anti-humidity cream by Fix as well as the volume boosting spray, which when you're blow drying your hair, just gives you a little bit more volume, which clearly I did not use today. 
Um, but anyway, um, it's a it's a great product set, and now I'm like hooked on it. Right, I'm never gonna buy another brand again. I love how it worked, and I will um, promote that with my customers, and I will personally use that product like all the time. So anyway, make sure that you're you're um, on those email campaigns. So within these past couple of weeks, there have been a number of special promotions where our products are actually offered at a discounted rate for us, which means we can offer it at a discounted rate to our customers. But this is not something that Market America typically does. It's a very special thing to be able to get access to the product. What it comes down to is it's the holidays and our products are very giftable, um, especially our beauty products. They make excellent gifts. They're a great way to spoil somebody in your life and give them something really nice. And it also is a great way to create an ongoing customer and the company recognizes that. So if you were to, you know, get somebody on a product or introduce them to a product, the chances of them wanting to replenish that product or see what else you have, they go up. And so it makes sense to give um product and it makes sense to share these with our customers. So anyway, the point is is that the emails were sent out. I just want to highlight a couple of things that we all want to keep in mind, top products to keep in mind that are on sale. So right now you have the 21 day challenge kit. Um, that's the TLS challenge. It comes with um, NutriClean seven day cleansing system, the TLS core, uh, 30 servings of OPC3, 30 servings of multivitamin, two nutrition shakes, one in chocolate and one in vanilla, a challenge guide, tracking sheet, shaker bottle, and a button. Um, and so first of all, that's a, that's a lot of great products and it makes sense to have a couple of these on hand. And I can tell you first, like from personal experience that last January, 12 months ago, I wanted to purchase this kit for myself in the first week of January because like everybody else, I just wanted to trim a little bit of um, that holiday weight off and kind of get my body more energized because I've been feeling sluggish from eating differently over the last couple of weeks and I wanted my energy back. And so I decided I was, I'll just do the 21 day challenge with Haley. And um, the, the kit was sold out. So <laughs> make sure that if this is something that's important to you for January that you get it, it's actually on sale right now. Um, the unfranchised cost for that is only $150 and um, that is a savings where if you were to buy all of those products individually, the kit offers a savings. Um, and you can retail it for $199 and the BB is $70. Um, so in addition, there are a ton of beauty products that are on sale right now. The Motives Blush Bundles are $35 and you're getting um, four different blushes for that. And 21 BV, it's a great deal because, I mean, if you're saving actually 47%. Um, all of our holiday, all of our palettes are on sale right now. You can save 30% or more on Motive's best-selling palettes. Um, so um, right now, oh my gosh, guys, the Thrill Me palette is a palette that I bought. Um, I, want, I, just, I bought it like last spring, I want to say. As soon as it came out, I bought it. And I hadn't used it yet, but um, actually on Motive's Instagram, they featured this really, really subtle look on somebody where she was using the shade Epic on her lid and nothing else. Like, no eyeliner, no nothing. It's just a nice little light shimmer. It's so pretty. Um, anyway, I wore that, like, all week this week. So great. So um, you have in the nude elements, it mixed it up. You have all of the great, you know, holiday palette sales going on 30% off. Um, you have the Motives Lash Frenzy Fiberless Mascara, save 45%, actually get um, uh, two of them for $26.50 and $15 BV. That's a ridiculous deal. That's like a drugstore price um, for a really high quality mascara that gives you extension. Uh, fixed Color Shield Kit, um, that's the shampoo conditioner, is saving 34%, $24.25, $13 BV. Guys, again, like, that is the price of stuff you would buy at a, at a drugstore. Um, I love, I'm obsessed with the Motives lip bundles. I just bought a bunch of them. They have different lip bundles for different styles. So if you are like a bold style, there's one for that. If you're more bohemian chic, there's one for that. There's one that's more nude for if you're like looking for a more casual, um, like uh, nude type of look, look for your everyday work look. And what I love about it is it's taking a pencil, a lipstick, a matte and a shine, and it puts it all together so you don't have to figure out which lip liner to, to mix with which lipstick or whatever. You get, you get four products in there 
for $39.21 BV. So still an incredible BV amount for the price that you're paying, but for the price that you're paying. But what I loved most about it was so stupid. I just loved the fact that I didn't have to figure out which lip liner to buy with the lipstick. So um, just so you guys know, again, an amazing gift to give for the holidays. Um, if you look at any of the major uh, uh, cosmetics brands that are out there right now, they all have lip kits, and that's on everybody's um, holiday wish list. So to get a lip bundle for somebody is a really, really great gift. And by the way, you could save 44% right now for a limited time. It's a holiday special. It's designed to help us move more product during the holiday season. So that's not going to be a forever price. You definitely want to take care of that. Um, or, or take advantage of that now. And finally, um, I said this the other day on a call, I'm just gonna say it again, but the OMS skincare value kit. So the OMS, LDV OMS line is a really great way to spoil the men in your life. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just get so tripped up over what to buy guys. Like, they don't want anything. So <laughs> sometimes I'm just kinda like, what do you buy them? And then here's the thing, like they're the type of people, and I said this on the call, but it's so true where like, you know, I literally have a lip scrub and I have a regular face scrub and then I have like a lip mask and I have two different kinds of face masks and a serum for my face, which is different from my under eye serum and moisturizer and a deep moisturizer that we do once a week. And you have all these different lotions, just like I'm only at like up my, at my neck up right now. Right. And then you have dudes that are like, Oh, I have this like 13 in one moisturizer. It works for my elbows and my face and my feet. You can even wash my dishes with it like they just literally like it's not a thing they just don't take the time but then if you take the time to spoil the man in your life with some really nice skincare they're like oh this is this is why people do this it's so nice um and anyway the point is that the skincare value that you can save some money and you get three products you get the cleansing gel the uh, restoring serum and the aloe cream for that really really nice way to spoil some men in your life and by the way like why not just throw the tiger eye roller in there? I mean, it's such a nice product, and um, and it's nice to have a couple on hands. You have one like by your nightstand where you go to bed, and maybe one in your vanity, like where you're getting ready in the morning. Um, and they're not they're they're very inexpensive, so you might as well grab those. Um, okay, so guys, the segments are done for today. I did tell you it was going to be a quick uh, lesson at night, and so what I want to do now is I want to get to the my list holiday giveaway. I want to talk about what this is, what to do with the My List, and then I want to announce our winners. So I'm really excited for this part. Um, so the My List holiday giveaway uh, was something that we hosted for the last couple of weeks. It started on, um, gosh, it started at the beginning of the month, went for a couple of weeks, and it ended yesterday at 11.59 p.m. And so all we simply did was we asked people, create a list on shop.com or on unfranchise.com or both because if you create it in either place it exists in both places and then we ask people to share those lists to social media using some hashtags and tag us that kind of stuff and the reason why we did that is not just to get people to create lists but because we wanted to introduce people to this very very powerful feature that the company offers us to stay organized and to save us time and to save us money so when you create a list on shop.com and this is something that I did for both of my kids as well um, it, you can kind of like load products that you know you want to buy um, whether for, for gift giving in this example and then you can come back to that list and buy them when you're ready so for example like the week before Black Friday I kept having anxiety like I could not check out on any online store because I kept thinking if I buy this right now it's gonna go on sale in five days on Black Friday and I just wasn't willing to put my credit card anywhere so what I did is I eventually stopped doing that I went to shop.com and I created um, holiday shopping list for both of my kids. I threw some of my top um, gift ideas in both of them and then I used that list as a jumping off point when it was time to go shopping on Friday. Um, another thing is lists can actually help with ongoing things. So if you um, have consumable spending, which we all do, everybody in the world does, um, prove me wrong, <laughs> um, but if you do, then having lists of like everything that you know you buy on an ongoing basis for your, you know, um, for your bathroom, right? Or for like, you know, uh, dried goods, such like, 
such as pasta or rice or cereal or snacks or whatever, if you keep a list there, it just saves you from having to find the best products um, over and over and over again. And what's really nice is if you do them on Unfranchise, you can just check out on Unfranchise, which is great because everything is in the one cart there. Um, or if you do them on shop.com, you can also add partner store products. So um, if you were on the last Go Now game plan, you will have noticed that the list function of shop.com is one of Lauren's favorite parts of shop.com. Um, and it's something that she advocated for, which is why um, you know we put so much time into to redesigning this function. And it looks really, really great. It's easy to use, easy to share. Um, the last thing I want to share about this is that with regard to holiday shopping, if you create a list for specific people on your um, on your shopping list, it just keeps you organized. But another way to use them is if you create a list for specific types of people, it then becomes a really good retailing tool, right? Because say you're saying like, okay, here's my list for top gifts to give coaches, teachers, mailmen, and all of the service people in my life, right? They're all great gifts under 20 bucks. Or here's my list for all of my favorite secret Santa gifts um, for uh, a funny theme or whatever. Or here's my list for, um, for women or college kids or new homeowners or pets or babies or whatever, right? You can have lists for everything and you can share them on social media or share them one-on-one -on -one and it just helps, again, you're being an authentic resource at that point because you've gone and cherry-picked your favorite things to share people. So it can actually be a really, really great um, retailing uh, thing as well. So I need my phone because I want to share with you guys some of the, the posts here. All right, you guys ready to hear who won? So by the way, I want to tell you that after I announce the winners, I'm going to announce the next way that you have an opportunity to win. So our winners of the finalist campaign are eligible for a $400, a $1,000, and a $1,500 gift card to shop.com. Um, and all they had to do was simply participate. Um, they had to create a my list, share it to social media, and use the appropriate hashtags, etc. So all of that was shared on the email, it was shared on the unfranchised blog. Again, another reason to be checking the blog so you don't miss opportunities like this one. Um, and uh, by the way, I want to like let everybody know that the winners were chosen um, based on a couple of things. Yeah, the team together and voted um, based on number one. Was their post interesting? Meaning, were they following the good social media protocol? Were they telling a story? Were they being authentic versus just being salesy or, or spammy, right? Um, and then the second part of it was the quality of the list itself. Did they take time to really put a really cool list together and share it? Um, so, because, and you'll be surprised. And then, of course, did they do all of the things that the contest said to do, meaning use the right hashtags and tag people? So, just one little tip because we're going to do a bunch of campaigns throughout 2020, is when you enter into these campaigns, make sure you just read what we're looking for because a lot of people didn't use the hashtags or they forgot to tag us or they were missing one of the elements. So you want to make sure that you're actually following the, the parameters of the campaign. So I'm going to start in uh, third place. In third place, winning um, a $500 gift card to shop.com is... Jeremy Shawl, and I want to tell you what his post said. So congratulations, Jeremy, our third place winner. So Jeremy's post was really cool. He had a little teddy bear, um, a graphic that he created that said Jeremy's top trending Christmas gift, and his post said, check out my top trending Christmas gift. As we get closer to the holiday shopping, it can be a little hectic and stressful finding gifts that loved ones uh, will love. It's super fun, easy creating lists. Um, Christmas, and then he puts a really cute little quote in there. Christmas will always be as long as we stand heart to heart and hand in hand. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It isn't just a day, it's a frame of mind. It's the season not only of rejoicing but reflection. So he took the time to create a fun little graphic and I don't want to give away what the figure is. So you can see like yeah, the fun little graphic here. And he took the time to include like a really nice um quote and then it had a lot of questions and a lot of people asking questions. So congratulations to Jeremy. We will DM you tomorrow. Our second place winner, loved this one, it was so cute, um, was Miss Emily Carr. And Emily Carr has won a $1,000 gift card to shop.com. So congratulations to Emily. And what I loved, what we loved about Emily's um, post was she, the way that she 
use the list. Her post was a picture of her daughter, and in the caption, it was like, for all of the friends and family and grandparents that are asking what to buy, you know, for my daughter, here are some of her favorite top things on her list. And she took the time and she found all the top gifts and the wish list for her daughter, and she posted this adorable picture. So again, as you can see, totally authentic, right? Like, completely authentic real picture of the work child, real things on her child's wish list, and then use it in a way that could actually help, um, you know, people in her life. I can't tell you how many times my in-laws are like, what should we get your kids? And I'm like, get whatever you want. And that's not what they want to hear. They really want advice. They really want to make sure they're buying the kids something that they love and that they want. So congratulations, Emily. You are a second place winner. You went $1,000 to shop.com, and we will uh, contact you tomorrow. So our first place winner, oh my gosh, this one just had me feeling all kinds of warm and fuzzies. Um, and the team too, we were all like just literally read the caption and we all just went, oh my gosh, I love it. And again, this is kind of why I started off with social media tips saying, guys, like you have to be an authentic resource. You have to be a source of holiday joy. Like you have to be um, yourself. You know? and keep and so the people that submitted their their submissions for the My List Holiday giveaway that did it in a way that really followed those protocols and kept that in mind and put really great lists together, these are the people we chose. So um, the first place winner of the $1,500 Shop.com gift card is Tracy Shelton Young. So congratulations to Tracy. And I just want to share with you what she did. Um, her, her post said, raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Copper kettles, warm mittens, brown paper packages tied up in strings. These are a few of my favorite things. So of course she um, she quoted the song from Sound of Music, my favorite things, my list, right? Very creative. And 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 then she had her list, a little a little ah, really cute little graphic there and a um, hand down list. And then it says and all of the things on my shop.com wish list are my favorites because they're helping me achieve my goals of beauty from the inside out. And side note, the auto pet and cleaning products do not make me beautiful, but they are also my favorites. So anyway, super creative. Absolutely love that. Congratulations, Tracy and Emily and Jeremy. And congratulations to everybody that took the time to um, to create a my list because I mean, this is a really beautiful way to stay organized, create volume, share ideas. And the function of the list, of course, is a big win. So um, what I want to do is finish by telling everybody about what is next up. So we're going to do big campaigns like this again in the future. But for the next couple of weeks, um, starting actually this Friday, we are going to be doing something called a freebie Friday. And um, so what this is based around is the holiday gift guides, getting us introduced to what's on them and teaching us to use so on Mondays, uh, on Friday's blog is featuring one new holiday gift guide where they just show you what it is, they show you what's in it, and they tell you how to use it. And then on Friday, you come right here, the Market America's Facebook page, and you're going to see a picture of the, the gift guide up there, and you're going to be at the like or whatever. So make sure that you go and you just comment. Um, and then on Monday, we're going to choose the winner, and the winner is going to be chosen at random, live, we'll just pick a name out of a hat. And um, that winner will win at least three of the products in the gift guide. So the first one up is beauty products, and um, it's really cool. I think it's like the, the ice roller and the new serum and the retinol or something like that. So make sure on Friday you check out uh, Market and America's Facebook page, and all you have to do is like and comment on the post. So it's not a big ask. It's not a lot to do. We just want to get people aware of these new assets and using them. And so it's just a fun way that we can do that together. Um, and that will be happening every Friday for the rest of the month. So you'll have an opportunity to win that. And I'm sure we're going to have another really big campaign with a really big opportunity to win um, coming in January as well. So, guys, I hope this has been fun for you. I just want to remind everybody that you'll get an email recap of what we talked about on the Go Now game plan. Um, the, these are uploaded to youtube.com forward slash shopping annuity. They're also here. Um, I will see you guys in January. I thank you for joining me, and I want to congratulate once again our winners of a My List holiday giveaway, and I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the week. Take care, guys.